Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. So, this is a limit switch. This particular type is called adjustable uh, lower level switch. So I want us to, you know, learn how it works and where you can use it. All right. So, uh, first, how it works. Now, the limit switch, of course, there are various types, but we'll look at this adjustable roller lever switch. Okay. So it has got two contacts here. Okay. So up here, uh, we have normally open and then we have normally closed down here. All right. So it depends on what kind of signal you want to send. All right. It has this lever here, which can be adjustable as the name. That's where it gets its name, uh, adjustable roller lever switch. So you can have an Allen key and uh, you can move it up and down. Okay. So the, the, the size is not fixed. So usually uh, this is a bit long. Uh, it can give you, you know, a loom to, to adjust according to how you want it to operate. Okay. All right, so uh, that's how it works. You see, it, these two contacts here, it's just like uh, the principle is the same as this. This is a push button, okay, which has got uh, normally open here. It could be a red one, which could have normally closed, okay. And uh, this is operated or actuated by pushing. But a limit switch, it has to be moved, okay? And in most cases, it will op be operated by the same machine that it, it, where it's connected on, okay? So I'll give you an example, like uh, a crane. You know a crane, uh, a crane in the factory, okay? So a crane uses uh, a forward and reverse uh, starter, Link in, the, link in the description if you, you want to know more about that circuit. So it uses forward and reverse. So it, uh, the crane moves on the tracks, uh, you know, which will be, one will be on the right, one, uh, the other one will be on the left. So you operate it by pressing the wire remote. The wire remote could be wireless or wire, okay? Now, this will serve as a, a, a safety feature. On that crane because it will be connected at the end of the track okay it could be on the track or it could be on the crane on the moving part of the crane or on the stationary part of the crane okay it depends on the design all right so if the crane is moving in the forward direction and let me say there is no limit switch but you have to use your eyes when you're pressing okay such that if it reach the destination you can uh, release the button, okay, because usually the, those cranes don't have, they don't retain, you press the button, it starts, you release the button, it stops. That's how it works for protection, okay? So, in the case you're still pressing and maybe your minds, your, your, your minds are a bit far, instead of running out or running beyond the track, it will meet with the limit switch and it will push it. So, the moment it push it, that means that the circuit will de-energize. Okay? Instead, instead, if there was no this switch here, it means that uh, it would have run over the track. Okay? So, that's one of uh, the areas that these switches uh, is used. Then, another, another way is uh, a microwave. Okay? Microwave also uses a, a limit switch, another type. You know, because you're not supposed to be exposed to those uh, radiations in the microwave. Okay. Or, <clears throat> okay. So when you open the door, uh, the microwave will be shut because of that limit switch. So you see, even that of microwave, it, it, it is moved by the door. Okay. And, it, uh, 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 and our interest is the door. All right. You see, even the crane, our interest is the crane itself not to run off the track. That's why we connect this 
and it's being moved by the crane. Okay. The other thing also, uh, this also can be, you know, you can even have it on your door. It could be your gate, yeah? whereby if someone opens, uh, you want a siren to go on, or if you're opening your 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 house or a cabinet, you want a light to go, uh, you know, to switch on when you close, a light to switch off, you know, something like that. Okay. So this is uh, that's you know, one of the areas where uh, this guy can be used. So let us uh, just look at this demonstration, okay? So I have this circuit here. Uh, <clears throat> so I have, uh, this have this circuit here. This is a self-holding circuit, okay? All right. Now, assuming that... Uh, this circuit here is driving a motor. So let us uh, see that. Let us just connect this. Okay. So in this case, we are going to use uh, normally closed. All right. In, in, in an example of, of a crane. So let us get our meter. We need to give that continuity. So I hope you see that. So we, we've used normally closed. Now, in, in the circuit like this, okay, if you want uh, the limit switch to limit whatever you're driving, uh, it could be a crane, it could be uh, maybe a conveyor, but let us, let us do it in, in the regard of the crane, okay? So this is what we will do, okay? So... Okay, all right. Now we've connected uh, our limit switch, uh, you know, with our circuit. All right, and uh, we have done that uh, in series because we want, if this machine reaches its limit, it hits this and it shuts down. Okay, so this is how it works. So you have that goes on okay and then okay because this switch here it is spring loaded okay once you move it okay the system will go off all right and then it can reset once you release it that's how it works. And you see, uh, with, with, with that kind of setting, especially with the crane, the crane will have, because you're using a forward reverse starter, and you know, forward reverse, uh, each circuit is independent, apart from interlocking each other, but each circuit is independent. So you'll have limited switches connected in forward direction and limited switches that are connected in reverse direction. So that means that if your machine will hit your limit switch, it will go off and it will not be able to move in that direction. But if you move it in the, in the reverse direction, it will move. Okay? So that's how it, that's how it usually works. Okay? So your circuit 
and once you move it takes off the circuit and reset so so that's how the whole thing works so i hope uh you learned uh something there so please feel free uh you know to ask any question if there is any other way you want you know us to to show how this limit switch can be used then you can put that in the comment uh section so you can go ahead and like share and subscribe if you like okay so thank you very much for watching until next time i'm out